Hey guys, how's it going? Lunar Complex here, and today this is going to be a very short tutorial. It's only going to be about how I do my shadows in my video game. So, if I could just show you a quick little preview of that. So, shadows like these, you see across the ground there are these dark spots that move to the lower right hand side of the screen, and it's pretty easy to do. So, I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, and since this is easy enough, what I'm going to do is start from a brand new RPG Maker game. Just go to the new little paper button there. We're going to call this Cloud Shadows. All right, let that do all of its uh, setting up. And now what we have here is just the simple beginning of a game. I'm going to go to plugins real quick, get rid of the splash screen. Hit OK, and there are two plugins we're going to have to download. All right, and this is the plugin you're going to have to download right here. It is on RPG Maker Web Forums. This is Kaius Ultimate Overlay. Uh, you could do a lot more than just shadows with this. You can add, you know, you can actually do what you're supposed to probably do in games, which is draw the entire everything and then kind of have it as a picture and then have the character like run on that picture and then set up walls for that character so they can't pass to make it look all beautiful and nice but i just use the regular tile sets for now i'm not going to start going into these layers they take way too long and i'm not really an artist but i can make some simple clouds and so what we're going to do is download this plugin right here so just download it's going to download are you sure you want to keep this why not and then we're going to go and download this guy right here, the parallax smoothing, because with one of RPG Maker MV's updates, we have to, in fact, download this as well. And so this is the whole file here. I believe you can just click raw. Okay, uh, right click, save as, and then we get our little uh, file right here as a JavaScript file. So just go ahead and save that to the desktop for simplicity. And then we have our two plugins right here that we just need to move into our game folders. And if we go to our game we just made, Cloud Shadows, and we go to JS, Plugins, we could just delete all these, we don't need them. And we put parallax smoothing in there, and we put Kyle's ultimate overlay in there. And that's basically it for that. Next, what we're gonna wanna do is go to plugins up here, double click and add the Kyle's ultimate overlay. And then under it, very important that you put this under it, you choose the parallax smoothing. And I imagine you would change this to true to enable it. And now if I remember correctly, in Caius' ultimate overlay, there are a couple things you need to remember, which is the switch IDs for the fog, light, parallax, and shadow. So just keep in mind which uh, switches you decide to use for this, maybe label them, keep a note of it. I know in my master file for Dante no Kodomo, the game I'm working on, I have a text file in there labeling every single picture, switch, variable, anything I'm going to be using all in there just so I can quickly get to it and make sure I have switches I want to use if I didn't end up labeling. I usually change these to something that's very out of the way, so like 81 and 82, 83, 84. But like I said, you don't have to do this. You could use it for switch one through four, but usually you have more main purpose switches for this. Now what you're also going to want to do is go into your file system for this uh, game we just created. I believe we can actually get there through open folder, game open folder, and it appears on the other screen for some reason. What you want to do is go to image, right click, new folder, type in overlays, and in overlays go ahead and make a new folder called fogs. And like I said, this plugin can do a lot more than just fog, but I'm not going to use it for anything more in depth as of right now. And then go ahead and open this folder. And real quick, we're going to make a kind of cloud picture. So use your image editor of choice. I use GIMP 2.8. All right, and what you're going to do is hit Control N for new, and I believe RPG Maker's default screen size is, what would it be, 816 by 624. And you're going to want to make sure you have the exact size because if you're using shadows, you want them to kind of all link up, and I will cover that in a second. But if we go to color to alpha, click OK, we get rid of all of the uh, solid white color there. And what I'm going to do right now is find a circle tool, say like this guy, and just put a circle here. It doesn't really matter where. Grab the uh, bucket, have a solid black circle. Go ahead and zoom in, copy it, paste it over and over again to kind of maybe make some clouds or whatever. All right, and there's one of my clouds. <laughs> Actually, kind of looks like a cloud. You know what? I just, there we go. That's a beautiful cloud right there. So if we go ahead and grab this, copy, paste it a couple more times, like... Uh, here 
in there. And now if you wanted to kind of copy paste it over the edges here, you'd have to then continue it over on this side as well. So like if I split this in half and put this side here, you'd have to find a way to put the other side over there. Since I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to put four clouds like this and maybe grab one of these and scale them down a little bit as well so we have tiny clouds. All right, and there we go. There's a simple looking cloud thing. Now you may have noticed they are solid black. I believe that doesn't matter because you can change the opacity in the actual plugin itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and control shift E to export this. I'm gonna export it to our file, which is cloud shadows, image, overlays, fogs. Go ahead and name it clouds. Export it, and there we go. If we go into our game here, we're gonna to have to go to our map, right click, hit edit, and we're gonna to have to type in some information here. And so the information we're gonna to have to type are always gonna be in these little carrot things. So go ahead and paste a couple of those. And in the first one, we're gonna type fog name colon, and then the file name, cloud. All right, we named it cloud, so gotta make sure it's exactly the right name. We're gonna have a fog opacity. Oh, and I believe name has to be capitalized. It may not. Opacity. And this is where we can change uh, the, make it more transparent. So 180 should be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and type in here X move. So we get a, an X movement of 0.1. And then Y move, which gives us a Y movement of 0.1. Oh, and the one thing I may have forgotten is if you go to plugins, double click on Kai's ultimate overlay, we're gonna make sure organized folders is true. And if we play it, it should work. There we go, there's our clouds. They're, they're moving and they look like clouds and they should be repeating and they are. And like I said, there's this kind of weird line of nothing there. That is because you will have to paste one of these clouds over here and then grab the leftover part and move it over here so that it makes it look more uniform. And yeah, that's, uh, that's clouds in a nutshell. I hope this tutorial helped and thanks for watching.